Fossils are the remains or traces of living things that existed eons ago in the past. In the same way that some recent fossils are only thousands of years old, there are others that belong to life forms that existed millions, even hundreds of millions of years ago. Fossils which have survived in the Earth's strata for hundreds of millions of years, right down to the present day, are an indispensable source of information regarding the organisms that have lived on Earth since life first began. They provide concrete evidence as to what species existed in which periods. Fossils came in various shapes and sizes, from entire skeletal remains right down to microscopic traces on stones. In order for a fossil to form, the body of a recently dead plant or animal has to be insulated from contact with the air and the external environment by being immediately covered in soil, mud or sand. Over the months that follow, new layers of soil are laid down over the spot where the dead organism lies buried. These layers act as a special shield that protects the organic matter from external effects of air and bacteria and physical wear and tear. Ever more layers of mud and sediment are laid down, one atop the other, and within a few hundred years, the remains of the once living thing is now several meters beneath the Earth's surface or the seabed. Structures such as an animal's bones, shells, scales, and cartilage gradually begin to undergo chemical degradation. Subterranean waters begin seeping into the decaying tissues, and the minerals contained in these waters gradually replace the chemicals in the tissues. These materials that replace the chemicals in the tissues are the building blocks of rocks such as pyrite, silica, and iron and are far more resistant to wear and erosion. Thus, over the course of millions of years, these minerals produce an exact stone copy of the original structure by replacing the tissues within it. The fossil remains exactly the same shape and size as the original organism, but it is composed of rock. In scientific terminology, the process of fossilization is not There are also a few other processes that can result in fossilization. One of these is carbonization. All the original elements apart from carbon disappear from the tissues that undergo the carbonization process. All that remains of the original structure is then a copy consisting entirely of carbon. By now, we have millions of fossil specimens collected from all over the world and cataloged in the museums and collector's cabinets of various countries. All these fossil specimens reveal one very significant fact. All living things on the Earth have maintained the same shape, structure, and characteristics since the moment they were first created.
Many life forms that existed in even the very earliest geological periods have come down to the present day without undergoing even the slightest change. There is no difference between these living things that existed hundreds of millions of years ago and specimens living today. For example, present-day grasshoppers are in all respects the same grasshoppers that lived 120 million years ago. Today's lizards are exactly the same as the lizards of 242 million years ago. In short, living things are exactly the same today as they were millions of years ago in the past. <laughs>